Hey guys, Max with Hobby King back with another product profile for you guys. And today we have an awesome new product from Quantum. We have the new Genesis HD FPV goggle system. So for those of you that have been following us on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or even on YouTube, you may have noticed these goggles being teased a lot recently, but they are finally here, the new Quantum Genesis. Now these are a team up between Quantum and Fat Shark, so you'll notice a lot of the externals are gonna be Quantum branded stuff, similar to our Cyclops goggles or our DIY goggles that we've been selling, and all the internals are gonna be great Fat Shark components. All right, so inside the goggles, you have a Diversity 32 channel uh, FPV receiver. Now these antennas you see on the front do not come with it, but you can pick them up separately from us at Hobby King. But again, inside 32 channels, that's gonna cover four bands. You're gonna have the Immersion of Fat Shark band, you're gonna have band A, band E, and race band, which is the important one that you guys like, but we removed band D since not many people around the world use it. Now, again, I mentioned you have a diversity setup in the front. Now we recommend using on the primary side, using a patch antenna, and then on the secondary side, using an omnidirectional antenna. Now, if you wanna run one antenna, you can also do that. Just make sure you either put your omnidirectional here or your patch here on the primary side. Now also on the goggles, you notice we have a lot of different ports. So on this left side of the goggle, we have your power in from your battery. You have your audio out, your AV out, and your AV in. So you can plug in from a ground station into these goggles, or you can push the video out to a monitor or another set of goggles, and we'll be showing you that a little later on in this video. Now on the right side, you have your channel selection. You have your five-way joystick, which controls your brightness, your contrast, and if you click in on it, will allow you to cycle through the modes of the goggle. You also get an HDMI in port and a micro USB port for firmware upgrades for the goggles. So for you guys that like our Quantum Cyclops goggles or these box style goggles, we have our dummy Jeff over here who has the goggle strapped on his head and you notice we have full adjustable Velcro straps on the top over here and on the side. So for those of you with bigger heads, smaller heads, you like to wear baseball caps, or for those of you that wear glasses, you can adjust these to fit your head exactly and as comfortably as you want. So also in the box, you're gonna be receiving a 1000 milliamp Fat Shark battery to power your goggles. It has those great LEDs on top that'll show you your charge level. And these just slip right into the little pouch on the back of the goggles. And then you're going to plug them in to the battery extension cable that also comes in the box to power everything up. And last, but probably the coolest feature of these goggles is the five and a half inch 1280 by 720 LCD screen inside. That's right, it's got a 720p HD screen built into these goggles. It's gonna have a 48 degree field of view and it's gonna support 16 by nine and four by three uh, display ratios. And this screen is also great for those of you running a system like a Connex, cause you can run the HD signal right into these goggles and see the 720 resolution from your camera. Or you can also use it as a second monitor for something like your computer or your TV or your video gaming system, which also works great. So that's gonna wrap it up for all the specs and components of the Genesis goggles. So now we're gonna get some FPV gear set up and show you how everything functions. So now for most of you, you're just gonna be using these goggles with an FPV transmitter. So we have our Quantum Micro VTX over here that we're gonna just be powering with our little 1S Nanotech LiPo. And we're just gonna show you the 5.8 functions of the Quantum Genesis. So we'll go ahead and we will power our transmitter. Then we'll power our goggles. There we go. As you can see, you can see our camera guys back there. We're receiving 5.8 through the goggles, which is great. So extremely easy to set up. And if you are on the wrong channel, all you have to do are press your channel up and down buttons to scroll through all the 32 channels. It will automatically select the next band when you reach the top or the bottom of those uh, eight channel selections per band, and you can easily find your FPV transmitter signal. So now for those of you guys that might be ground station users, you can use your ground station very easily with the Genesis goggles. We have our new Quantum Half Lord coming soon, over here set up on our little tripod as our ground station, and what we're going to do is we're going to run the AV out to the AV in on the goggles to show you how that video works. Now, before you were to plug anything into these ports on the side, whether it's AV in or HD in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your cord plugged in before you power anything, and then you're gonna to wanna to power the goggles. Now, once you power the goggles, you have 10 seconds to choose your modes, whether it's the RF mode on the 
built-in receivers, the HD mode, or the AV in mode, and then it will lock that mode as a safety feature so no one can come up or you can't accidentally press the buttons on the side and change the mode. You can change channels if you're using the built-in receivers, but again, you cannot change the mode unless you were to power down and go through that cycle again. So we're gonna go ahead and plug our AV in here. We're going to power our goggles. Now we're going to cycle to AV in, and boom, we have the video coming again from our micro VTX. You can see our camera, guys. There you go. Extremely easy to set up running from a ground station. So we just showed you guys how you can do AV in. Now we're going to show you how you can do AV out. So let's say you were at the field with your Genesis, and then you had another monitor, or you carry around a big TV like this. You can push the video you're seeing in your goggles to your TV or your monitor. And it's very simple to do that too. Now, again, same thing. We want to plug in our cable into our goggles before we power anything. So we're going to go into our AV out port. Already have our micro VTX powered. Now we're going to power our goggles. And there you go. We're already on our same channels before. You can see our camera guys back there. Again, extremely easy to take your video that you're seeing from your Genesis goggles and let other people see them or push them to wherever you want. So now probably one of the best features with the Genesis goggles is that 720p screen built inside them. And we're gonna be showcasing that using a Connex ProSight system. So we have that all set up here on our monitor. You can see our camera guys back there. We have the full 720p system set up. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna take this picture and we're gonna push it into our goggles using an HDMI cable. So all we're gonna do again first is plug our HDMI cord in here into the goggles. We're going to unplug the HDMI coming out of the ProSight. We're going to plug our other HDMI going to our goggles in. Now we're going to power our goggles. Now we're going to cycle through until we get to HDMI and there you go. Again, you can see our camera guys over there and we have a beautiful and crisp 720 picture. It looks great in here on these with, again, that five and a half inch 720p resolution screen. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the product profile on the new Quantum Genesis goggle. For the price, you are not gonna find a more feature-packed headset on the market today. You get a 720p screen inside, you get 32 channels with race band, diversity receivers, you get all those ports to push your video out, bring video in. You can run HD video into these goggles. It truly is an excellent, awesome headset. Remember to check them out on the new items page. And remember to subscribe to Hobby King Live and stay tuned for more product profiles.